good morning. What's up, Smashers? It's an awesome day. It's always an awesome day. Check it out. Look who's back. Yeah. See? Sitting over there in the corner. No, she's not working. She told me. I asked. She's lifting. Trust me. She's trying not to laugh right now. So what we're doing today is knee issues. Yeah, guess what? Remember what I said about knee problems? Nine out of 10 times, it's not a knee problem. It's a hip mobility and an ankle mobility problem. You know, I just noticed I have this really, really good habit of walking around and spinning the camera a lot. Yeah, that's pretty gnarly, isn't it? So the problem is, is the hip and the ankle, let me get down here just a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. So the hip and the ankle, are, the hip is generating the power that transfers through the knee. Knee is a power transfer, right? Horsepower transfer joint. Gets to the ankle. The ankle's 26 bones. The foot is 26 bones, 30 joints in that foot. It's got to adapt to gravity acting on you. But the problem is that knee is a basic hinge. It's a simple hinge, nothing complex about it. And unless there's a big massive injury in there, 99% of knee problems, hip and, and ankle mobility issues. So we're gonna fix all that stuff and I'm gonna show you. You guys asked me about uh, patellofemoral tracking issues and, and patellofemoral pain syndrome, all that stuff, there's a big fancy word for that. Just call it knee pain. Because these are all fancy things about the patella tracking improperly, but the patella is, I'm gonna show you something. This is where it's, it's an issue because there's not really any such thing because look at this, this patella moves around like crazy. Like I can move this thing all over the place. So it doesn't really have a tracking issue. It's got a problem with the mechanics above or below. And this is just taking the abuse. You can call it chondromalacia patella. It doesn't matter what you call it. The issue is that mechanics of the knee are being fundamentally altered because the hip isn't working properly and the ankle isn't working properly. It's just like your car, take a problem with the, with the tires, put that donut on there and knock that donut out of balance and then go drive to LA and when your front end is wobbling around and the front end blows apart, it wasn't a problem with the front end, it was a problem with the tire being out of balance and vice versa. If the front end's out of alignment and the tire wears out, it's a front end problem, not a tire problem. So we're gonna fix, well, we'll fix the tires on the body, right? So I'm gonna show you how to mobilize that hip, the high hip, that TFL, so come back to that TFL and that IT band. That IT band is that big fat band of tissue that runs down the lateral portion of the leg. Vastus lateralis, hamstrings, all kind of come in and attach to that all the way down and then it crosses the knee and fans out across the lateral portion of that tibia and that fibula that comes down through here. And that TFL is what controls it. A lot of the runners get it, but guess what? Remember I injured mine? Yeah, even when you squat, you can trash it. I talked to my friend, Dr. Sean, and he said he even had a lifter that, uh, that had an issue with that. It was a chronic issue. It happened all the time because there was a mechanical problem and a, and a balance issue with an asymmetry in a squat, I'm sure which is what my problem was. So I'm gonna show you how to unglue that. So we unload that TFL, we wind up unloading that IT band, we wind up taking that knee and keeping it from caving in into that valgus position, and we wind up unloading all the, the menisci and the MCL and that ACL inside, that LCL, all this stuff gets unloaded. Remember, joints decay when they're rammed into themselves and start getting the crap beat out of them. So we're gonna hit the hamstrings, and the adductors, we gotta peel those off because they get stuck together. They don't, they lose that, that slide problem or that slide that they're supposed to have. We're gonna hit that TFL, we're gonna hit that hip and we're gonna drag that femur back to where it's supposed to be and then we're gonna mobilize that ankle and then boom, we're done. It's just that easy. So you can see I got a bar here. I prefer this as a 35 pound bar because it's easier to get into that funky grizzly spot. All you're gonna do is you're gonna kick the leg. Now normally I would do this on my right leg because it's the one that bugs me. You're just gonna kick over the side like this. This is so awful, I really I kinda don't wanna do this. So you can see I'm sitting on the bar. The bar's at about nah, hip height. Hold the bar so you don't slide off it and eat shit. Good, oh, I said the S word. I owe somebody five bucks. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the bar, you're gonna lean forward a little bit so I can trap the adductors, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kick in and out. Now I'm hitting the hamstrings and the adductors where they join together. And I'm just grinding away. You can get all the way up Watch the twig and giggle berries, but get all the way up into the, get up in the groin. There's all kinds of attachments and sticky ropey spots in there, and then work your way all the way down. I guarantee you, you're gonna find some hot spots. Peel those apart, do that for how long? Yeah, two minutes, you know it. That's number one. Number two, this is where we're gonna hit that TFL. Super easy to do, which means it's easy to what? Not to do, right? So you're gonna get into figure four. All you're gonna do, so I'm in a basic figure four. Normally I have a band. We're gonna do it without the band because I just wanna let that leg have some freedom to move around instead of locking it in that position. All I'm gonna do is put my hands out to the side, super easy, and just roll over. 
So right now I'm keeping my shoulders, my hands and everything stuck on the floor, like Velcro to the ground. Gravity is extra strong on me today. And I'm just gonna hang out like this. Don't tuck the leg on the bottom. Just let it fall over to one side. That's gonna hit that TFL. How long do we stay here? Two minutes. Help yourself up. So easy. Yeah, this is why nobody does this stuff. They'd rather jump out and go get surgery, right? Doesn't that suck? Getting cut open? Man, unless it's saving a life, don't do it. All right, number three. Get in here. So you can see I've got this high in the groin. You're gonna get into basically a modified pigeon. So I've got the band dragging me, dragging the head of the femur into the back of that capsule or the back of that joint where it's what? Most stable? Most stable, baby. Externally rotated so those fibers, the joint fibers are wound up the way they're supposed to. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna camp out like this. Hang out here for how long? Two minutes, remember? So legs crossed, band pulling you backwards, lean forward, hang out. Dose minutes, two minutes. That's it, that's my Spanglish for the day. Oh, that's just horrendous. I gotta get out of here because that friggin' hurt. And if you get trapped in the band, send me a video because I think that's so funny. And then last one is just that ankle mobility. And this one's actually really easy. Yeah, I know you can't see me right now, but you can still hear me, my mouth is that big. All you're gonna do, is you're gonna take a plate, we're gonna move the barbell, and you see what the heck I'm doing. And you can see, I've got the plate right there. The reason I have the plate is to give you a nice easy angle. Get your foot on here, and just load it up. Let gravity do the work. I got the knee locked out. Now I know I had you doing this while you were kneeling. This is even more aggressive because it's got 192.3 pounds right now sitting on it and gravity's just working in my favor. So I'm gonna hang out here just like this. I'm just gonna let that Achilles, that heel cord, the gastro, the soleus, the plantaris, all that stuff just unload. And when I'm done, I'm just gonna come off. How long do we stay like that? Two minutes. I guarantee you, check this out. I guarantee you, you unload that ankle and the hip and then you get wide and you drop into a squat and look at this right side versus look at this left side. A lot lower on this side and I only did this for how long? Not even two minutes, just a couple of minutes. Hey listen, that's how you get your knee working right. It's that easy, not always a knee problem. Check the stuff upstream and downstream, fix that knee. Hey, I'm Trev, Smashworks, catch you guys tomorrow.